Tinkercad tip, in today's tutorial I'm going to introduce you to a new shape generator called the Voronoi and it can be used to generate objects that have these random patterns like this. So let me show you how it's used, we'll zoom out here. Let's go ahead and grab all these and move them up out of the way. Alright, we're going to start over here on our search and we're going to type in Voronoi, V-O-R-O-N-O-I and you'll see an object like this, this orange one here. Let's bring this out. Let's use its parameters over here. We have a randomizer, number of cells, tile size, spacing, height, etc. We're going to start by changing the tile size to be, in this case, we're going to go at 56 and you'll see why in a moment. Tile spacing we want to be at 2 millimeters and the tile spacing determines the gap between each of these cells. And in this case we want it to be 2 millimeters. You can make that smaller or larger as needed. You can increase or decrease the number of cells. Here we have it set to 26. Let's go with that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to close our search here and we're going to come over here and we're going to grab a box and holding the shift we're going to change the size of this box to be 60 by 60 and we're going to make it just two millimeters tall and let's grab a duplicate of that we're going to hold on to that that's going to be our bottom and then i want four sides here so we're going to take this side and i want to duplicate it once twice three four times same with this shape over here let's come over here let's first make this three millimeters tall one you'll see why in a moment let's duplicate that oh and before we do let's change that to a hole we want that to be a hole whoop delete that let's try that again let's change it to be a hole then we're going to click on duplicate let's bring our duplicate down here we have another duplicate and let's create one more duplicate here keeps grabbing different ones there we go now what we want to do before we use these is because they're all the same let's randomize them a bit let's select this one we'll just change this randomizer to be anything change that one we'll change that one okay now that they're all different we're going to group some of these together we're going to select these two we're going to align them together on the middle and the middle. Make sure they're both dropped. Now one of the things that I found that's rather important is making sure that this Voronoi as a whole object cuts all the way through. So what I want to do to this whole object, the Voronoi, is I want to drop it down a half a millimeter to make sure that it cuts through on both sides of this square. I have my snap grid set at 0.5 and holding the control key down and having this whole box or whole shape selected, I'm going to cursor down holding the control key. There we go. I'm going to group those two together. I'm going to come over here, do the same thing. Control cursor down. I'm going to then select the both of those. Let's align those together. Let's group them. Do the same thing here. Control down. Let's align those together. Select them both. Group them together. Same thing here. Control cursor down. Select the both of those. Let's align them. There we go. Let's select the both of those and group those together. There we go. We have the four sides. Let's come up to this first one here. Let's click on it and holding shift. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. 
Same thing with that one. This one here will rotate up. We'll also rotate it this way 90 degrees. And we can come over here to this one. Rotate it 90 degrees. All right, let's zoom out here. Let's make sure everything is relative to the work plane here. I'm gonna select e each object, hit D to drop it to the work plane. All right, let's start aligning these together. Zoom in here. Let's select the two of these. Click align. We'll click the, the box here at the bottom to be our, our focus. We'll align this direction, this direction. We'll select that bottom and this side here. We'll align to our bottom and the middle. Whoop. Let's try that again. Line to this in the middle and to here. Select that bottom square again. Let's zoom out. Let's select this. We'll align those two together to this. Let's slide this up here a little bit. Zoom back in. Select that bottom. We'll select this side piece. We'll click align. Focus on the bottom there. We'll align this direction on the center this way. There we have it. Let's group all four of those, or all five of those objects together, actually. Group those together. Let's change it to yellow so we can see it a little better. And there you have it. Now, just as a note, I showed you that when you're using that Voronoi as a whole object to make sure that it protrudes through both sides of the object that you're working on. Otherwise, when you do this grouping, it leaves you with odd shapes. So there you go. That's how to use it. Now knowing how to use it, can you also make these? There's your Tinkercad tip for the day. Like, follow, and share. And thanks for watching.